Hey Luke here with catsandcarb.com and me and my boy Jacob here, we're gonna show you everything you need to know about chumming catfish. I'm gonna show you a couple different types of chum. We're gonna go out and use them. I'm gonna walk you through how to use chum, whether from a boat or from the bank. Me and Jacob, we're here at the grocery store and we are gonna be picking up some ingredients to make some catfish chum. Ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. There we go. All right. Chicken liver. All right, some fish sauce. All right, get some golden corn there. You got this? There we go. All right, we're back at the house. I'm gonna make up this catfish chum. First things first, we are going to blend up some chicken liver here. Now I'm gonna take the oats, put a whole big thing of oats in there. And I'm gonna take some grits. Okay, gonna add the chicken liver. Woo. All right, this is getting pretty raunchy. I better take this outside before I get divorced. We got two different flavors of Procure catfish scent, and I'm gonna go with the catfish candy here. We're gonna, look at that. Kind of a bloody, fishy, garlic flavor. There we go, that's about, the consistency we want, it'll set up even more once you let it sit. A little bit wetter, a little bit softer than raw hamburger. That's what you want. Well, I don't have enough time to use this today, so I'm gonna let this sit in the garage overnight, and we're gonna go chum this out tomorrow. But it is foul, nasty, nasty stuff. And I don't use stink baits very often because they are such a pain to work with. If you wanna chum catfish and you don't wanna use stink baits, Try boiled feed corn and try my Panko strawberry jello sweet corn pack bait. I've done videos on that and I've caught some amazing catfish on those two chumps. But today we're trying something a little different, so I'm going with the stink bait. Welcome to another day. I've got my little skiff loaded up here and I've got two buckets of chum. I have the catfish bait that I made yesterday. And I've got a whole bunch of these shrimp pellets that I got off of walmart.com. And uh, we're gonna take those out and see if they work. Okay. Oh. Having a plug doesn't do much good unless you actually put it in the drain hole. <laughs> the boat's peeing, Jacob. What the peeing? <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, you good? You happy? Fast. Okay, you want to go fast? Look at there's fish there, 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 there. There's all sorts of fish in here. Then there's this, this, and 
Should we try to catch him? Yes. All right, let's do it. Oh. Oh. Careful, he's pokey. There you go, little baby catfish. Gotta throw him, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they got careful, they are spiky. There we go, that's the kind of school we're looking for. Let's see if we can't catch some of that. Oh! Whoa! Why, Daddy? Baby catfish? No, not a baby catfish. Crappie. Big old white crappie. Another one. Big crappie. Uh, big crappie. Big crappie, yeah. Look at this big crappie and check out his birthmark. He's black right on the top. Big yeah. yeah, big crappie. Yeah, is that cool? Yes. You let him go. And uh, we got some shad. That's what we want. Hey, Jake, what did we catch? Catfish. A catfish. That's right. Look at that. We got a catfish in the net. All right, we got to get him out. There we go. Catfish. <laughs> you know, the fish have been pretty high up in the water column today, around the 15 to 10 foot range. And so I'm going to try to find a hump here in this 20 to 25 feet of water and dump all my chum all around that hump. My humps, my humps, my lovely fishing humps. Here we go. That's a good looking spot right there. That size. That was my rubber glove. These are really hard to put on when your hands are numb. All right, I'm chumming in broad areas. I'm really spreading out the chum. Don't want to drop it in just one spot. I'm going to be fishing multiple rods, so I need to chum up a big area. Plus, if you drop all the chum in one spot, one or two big catfish just come and gobble it all up, and then they're gone, and you're done. If you throw a little chum all over the place, the catfish have to go looking for it like an Easter egg hunt, and it'll keep more catfish hanging out in this area, searching for bait for longer. All right, now for the stink bait. All right, look at this stuff. Look at that chunks that come down in there Whew. oh this is so pungent garlic and fish look at all that oil that comes up take make little balls of this We're just chucking it in all over oh it's all over my motor oh. this is why I don't like using stink baits they just get on everything I put all of the stink bait and about three quarters of the pellets all over this spot. I spread out nice and wide from about 20 feet of water to 13 feet of water, right along this long ledge. We're gonna come back here tomorrow morning, see what the fishing's like. All right, it's another beautiful day. We got the big pontoon boat hooked up. Jacob requested that we use that one today. And I'm gonna make up some of my carp chum. All right, I'm gonna show you my carp chum here, which also works really well for catfish. And I'm showing you several different types of chum, the pellets, the stink chum, the panko chum, so that you can kind of make a chum based on whatever ingredients you have available to you. Um, they all work pretty well. And so don't feel like you need to do all of these or whatever, just pick whichever works best for you. So basically I'm taking strawberry jello and I'm mixing it with panko breadcrumbs. Mix this all up. And we're gonna It should pack together into a nice ball. It should pack into a nice ball, especially after you let it sit for a few minutes. Alright. Well, it's 38 degrees right now and it feels so warm to me because last week we were fishing in Alaska and it was negative 38. It's all relative. That's a big school of bait right there. That's what we want.
Look at that. That's a lot of feed. It's more than we need. I'm gonna let some of them go. Shad have a real hard time staying alive in live wells in the summer, but in the winter they're quite hardy because the oxygen's much higher in the water when it's cold. I'll scoop out the lively ones and let them go, and uh, then I'll keep the dead ones for bait and I'll freeze the leftovers. Well, that was nice. Fishies! Whoa, 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 you okay? I got a piece of fresh shad on an 8 aught gamakatsu circle hook. I've got a 5 ounce lead on a slider, the bead and the swivel. Got an Abu Garcia 7000 catfish special on a whisker seeker medium heavy rod. I really should be using a 6500 catfish special, but you know, today's a little bit of a weird day. All of those chums we were using, oatmeal, grits, panko, chicken liver, shrimp pellets, all of those things make great carp chum as well. So I'm gonna take a couple of my carp rods and chuck those out, see what happens. There's a lot of different ways to deliver the chum out into the water. You can just throw it out by hand. You can form it into balls and then slingshot it out. You can use something that looks kind of like a highlight uh, scoop to, to chuck it out. Um, you can even use a device called a spom or a spod which are basically little rockets that you tie on the end of your line, fill full of bait and chuck out into the water and then retrieve and repeat. If you're really hardcore and you have lots of money to burn, they even sell remote controlled boats designed to send the chum out there if you're bank fishing. I'm using a method lead, which is this little lead with these ribs. Now I make a gooey ball of bait and I squish it on there and little ribs grip it. But you can use a lot of different leads to do this. You can put it on a normal inline lead. It doesn't grip as well, but it works. I've just got a little piece of fake plastic corn on what's called a hair rig. A little piece of string dangling off of the hook. This works great for catfish and for carp. I'm gonna take some of this Procure Sweet Corn Super Gel with a little bit of dye in it. And I'm gonna just put it, I'm just gonna put it and coat it all over the fake piece of corn to give it a little extra attractiveness. Got all the rods out, now we wait. If I don't get a fish in 15 minutes, this isn't working and we need to try something else. You see one of the rods go bing, 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 bing. You let daddy know, okay? Chumming doesn't really draw fish to a location they don't want to go. Instead, it keeps fish in one location once they've come there. So a fish is swimming around looking for food, they find your big pile of bait and they stay there searching around, grubbing and eating the food. But also it helps to not scare the fish away. When you hook one, it thrashes around. Normally they'd run off and the fishing cools off. But if there's lots of food in there, the fish will stay even if they're being scared a little bit. And if they are scared off, they'll wanna come back. So chumming up a spot really helps keep fish in a location, but it's not so good at pulling them into a spot. If you want to see a really good example of a long-term chumming campaign, I did a video where I chummed the same spot from the shore five days in a row and then fished it five days in a row. And you could really watch how the spot got better and better and better. That's a pretty good example of how to effectively do a long-term chumming campaign. Oh, you look, you look down there where the, the line is, there's all these bubbles getting kicked up and something's on the carp rod. Okay. All of these rods with shad on them and the first catfish we catch is on the Ponco pack bait with the with a little bit of fake corn. See here all this brown stuff? That's, that's mud. Because these catfish are laying flat on the bottom. Go. Here we go. Bumblebee, bumblebee, under the barn. Sting little Jacob right under the air. Oh. You want this one, Jake? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, he's a strong one. Oh, oh this one. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 
There you go, little channel catfish double. Oh, man, that is a nice fish. He's over eight pounds. Chumming's going to attract certain types of catfish. It tends to attract smaller channel catfish. Now, additionally, you gotta be consistent in your chumming over a number of days to really turn a cold spot into a red hot spot. Also, your timing is really important. If you throw down a bunch of chum and the fish gobble it all up in 30, 40 minutes, then the, it's not gonna do any good two hours later. So if you're chumming the night before, it may or may not help the next day if the fish are on the chum too quickly. There's a lot of nuances with chumming. It's, it's an effective technique in the right situation, but there's a reason why I don't use it a ton. I, I find that in situations like this where you have a boat, you're just much better off going to the fish than trying to bring the fish to you. The kind of situation where chumming really pays off is where you're shore fishing for a long period of time. So all day or multiple days, you come in, you camp up on, on the shore, you chum out the spot as you're setting up your gear, you fish all night and you, you keep throwing out a little bit of chum at a time as you catch fish. That sort of strategy works pretty well. Here, Jake. Here. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. There's your fish. Oh, my fish. That's your fish. Kiss. Mwah. You want to reel in that fish? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Have you had a fun time? Mm -hmm. Should we go home now? Yes. Okay. Well, Jake's ready to go home, so let's weigh up our fish and see how much we caught, okay? Oh, oh that's heavy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine fish. 47 pounds. <laughs> Oh, that is a big one right there. Don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Uh. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video because uh, we sure enjoyed making it. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning and I'll put links in the description to some other videos I did where we had a little bit more success chumming catfish. So you can kind of compare that to with what you saw today. At any rate, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.